The next 50 years will make a world of difference. Bertie and I reversed the numbers. We got married at 17. Now we're 71. <laughs> we, we've been married 54 years and proud of it. And somebody asked me yesterday, did you go meet Miss America? I said, no, I married her. <laughs> now, Bertie saw the plane first. And it's always important to look and see how many people get in the business and like our sponsors got us in the business, a year later they quit. Our sponsor and our sponsor's sponsor. But Charlie and Elsie Marsh stayed in there and they recently passed away. But they built a big business in Rome, New York, where we grew up. Broke more diamonds than just about any place in the world. Hey. And when I got in the business, I was a stutterer. And there was another famous stutterer from Rome, New York, called Dan Williams. And we both overcame it. And here's Bertie, and I want to tell you, we built it in the early days, but these three boys built it today, and we're proud of the kids. Yes, we are. And you know what? Whoops. <laughs> we are so honored to have been in this business for, what, 47 years? Wow. That's a, that sounds like too long, but we were, you know, and I can ditto everything that was said tonight by everybody that came across the stage because I can't imagine where we would be if we hadn't gotten in this business because we were just two little kids from Rome, New York. And uh, I really want to uh, send our heart to Steve and Andal tonight because we know he's facing a terrifically hard time. And honor Rich DeVos. It's always an honor to hear from him. Whatever he has to say, we listen. <laughs> and uh, Doug has become quite a friend of ours. So the Amway families were younger when we got in the business. And we remember Doug when he was just a little toddler. Because he's only a few months older than Jeff. But it's been such a trip that, you know, everything that we could ever have dreamed about and more has been accomplished in this business. I mean, we didn't even know, I didn't even know how to dream much when we got in the business. So all of my dreams have come true in this business and they can for you too. So if we can do it, you can do it. Hey guys, we just want to thank God for, uh, for being here, for providing this business opportunity for us and uh, you know, in our Christian walk, we're, uh, we understand that, you know, one of the things that we need to do is to honor our mother and father. And so that's where our hearts were. And uh, what we're doing is now in that, that really a lifetime partnership, right, with not only mom and dad, but with dad's parents as well. And now uh, our family, next third generation, and now into my sons with the fourth generation. And so it's... Uh, it's a great partnership with the corporation and with you guys because you guys have been, you know, like the master encouragers and examples for, for all of us, for so many people around the world. And, and uh, so thanks to the Defendendals and the bosses and the corporation and, and all of you for being encouragers to us too. Um, wow. I'm sure this meeting represents and resembles my parents' first home meeting a lot, I'm sure. Could you imagine 
bringing a prospect into this room tonight. <laughs> wow, we're going to go out from this room tonight and just what an impact we can have at the beginning of this decade, looking at this is the first year of this decade, what's going to happen in the next 10 years. I really believe that we can surpass what Amway is surpassing right now globally in this country alone, in North America alone. We have so much potential and we feel like we're just getting started. But like you, many of you in the room, we feel like we still have a lot to prove. We, we know that drove our parents' causes, responsibilities, making an impact with young people, the next generation. I want to give a shout out to the next Gen Ys out there and the next generation IBOs that qualify to be here. We're so proud of you, proud of all of you, proud of the legacy diamonds and all of the Hall of Famers and so much. I want to give a shout out to my future wife here, Cecile. Very excited about that. We're having a blast. All right. They say the shortest guy for laugh. But um, somebody was, I think Theron Nelson was telling somebody the other night at one of the gatherings, I remember when you, when you were this tall. How many of you ever heard that about yourself? When you were this tall, I'm thinking, that was not that long ago if you look at my height right now. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we're having a good time building the business. Uh, Doyle, Steve, and my folks said uh, most everything, so I'll just tell a few jokes here tonight. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but... Uh, we're having a great time building the business, and, uh, uh, you know, many years ago, as we were younger, wondering whether we could do this thing or not, and whether we were cut out for it, and whether we really wanted to do it. You know, a lot of times in the business, you guys that have been in the business for a while, you tend to hear a lot of negative things, you hear a lot of positive things, and of course as we grow up and we become leaders and we go through time, we have to be very careful about protecting ourselves as we've always been told. And this business is still the greatest business on the planet. And you know, the biggest challenge is, is when we start comparing it to the wrong things. And there's no comparison to what we got in this business. Uh, there's no comparison to the environment that we have with all of you guys. Uh, we just got to go out and be more confident about what we have here and not rest on our loyal, loyals and continue to believe that the beginning founders of this business, the dreams that they had, my folks, the DeVos, Van Andels, all of you leaders in the room, it still exists for every generation today and, the, and going forward. And we just got to continue to reinforce that. Our kids, if you're second generation, third generation, first generation, wherever you may be, this, work, this business will continue to grow and grow. But you got to believe in it, and you guys all know that. And wherever you're coming from, if you've got challenges in your life, you look at us and you say, how do they do that? We don't basically know how we do every little thing because the, the energy and the blessings don't come from us, they come from God above. And when you, when you guys all know this, but I just want to, to let you know that when folks up here are recognized, it's an awesome thing, but it doesn't mean that you guys can't do it. Do it again, do it the first time, do it the second, do it the third, do it the fourth. I just want to inspire and motivate anybody who's thinking whether it's worth it to go out and do it again. If you've got second generation, it is way worth it. It is way worth it. There's nothing that compares in this life to, to changing other people's life, as you guys know that. But all we're doing is taking a seed God made and putting it in the soil God made and letting God water it and put the sun on it. And, and that's all our job is to do is to transfer that uh, that dream and that hope. So God bless you. We thank you. We appreciate all of the of the corporate staff that have worked with our organization to to as as many others have said to really uh, change uh, the way that the company responds to us today. It's just awesome compared.